this bike is still going through a very extensive service so there's a lot of things on there that I need to clean up but this uh, video is to actually show you the installation of the red center uh, ignition system for early series uh, boxes with uh, points type ignition um, the kit is very very well engineered and very simple to fit uh, what you can see there is the shutter you can see there's a new seal around the housing that comes in the kit it needs to be super glued or siliconed into place and cut to length but um, that's there and all that's on that whole system is just a plate which is exactly the same operation as a points plate and uh, on one side of it is the Hall Effect trigger which I will turn the camera off and show you you can see the stainless steel shutter disc there that triggers that unit I'm just going to turn the camera off now and go around the other side so there's the Hall trigger unit right there you can see it uh, very plainly it's the same kind of unit almost exactly uh, in fact it is interchangeable with the standard cam and you can uh, you can buy them from electrical supply stores I believe they're made by Honeywell um, but with no real hassle you could uh, you could change that just as quickly as you could change a set of points the tail wire goes up the same way exactly as what happens with a, uh, a set of standard electronic ignition there's the plug there for the system you can see I've bound it with a little bit of yellow there's a wire in the road there a little bit of yellow silicon emergency tape that's just because to sort of save that part from chafing or brushing on the housing uh, with vibration and so forth so yeah that part the brown plug comes through from part of the harness um, that comes out of the ignition module control module that is supplied with the kit I'm going to turn the camera off again and I'll show you that part of the installation now. So this bike is still fitted with its original coils which are functioning quite well. I have ordered new coils for it but they haven't arrived yet. So I just decided I'd go ahead and show you the installation using the old ones. They work quite fine. The brackets come with the kit as does the ignition module and they bolt on to the bottom side of the tank mounts. Um, on a slash six or a slash five the module then has a cable that comes out of it and splits into two parts one part of it goes up onto the coil wiring which gives you the triggering and all the rest of the uh, the firing of the ignition you can see I've just piggybacked it because these old coils have got piggyback um, pins on them uh, I've put the black wire onto the onto the black terminal on the other side the green wire is in the same place uh, piggybacked on. There's no need to make take all that wiring off on these old coils because all the, the wiring is simply redundant uh, in that situation. You can see if you look in under here you can see the second part of the harness just there going into the breather on the top of the um, uh, starter housing. I just took that plastic grate out of the rubber surround and cut uh, one bar out of the bottom of it so I could push the cable up after I put the plug inside and reinstalled it. It runs down through the starter housing and comes out in the normal place where you find that particular plug um, on any bike with factory fitted electrical uh, ignition. I'm going to, um, it has spark, everything's working fine. I just haven't started it yet because I'm still finishing off the service, but I just thought that I would, uh, I would show you the, um, the installation. It's very straightforward and very simple and, and very effective actually very easy to change back uh, even if you wanted to just put the points and condenser back in the bike it's a two second job uh, not two second literally but it's a very simple job to do even on the side of the road I really like this ignition it's the first time I've ever fitted uh, or considered fitting electronic ignition to one of my own bikes